And welcome back. I uh, This video is focusing on programming and in particular coding. And we're receiving some questions right now from some of the students who are ask who are wanting to get into programming and coding right now as as part of their instruction and but they've only got chromebooks at home and so they're asking what can they do that would enable them to learn about programming and coding with only a chromebook so there are several different online ones but one that works really well with our ocsb student accounts is coding with chrome and if you do a Google search, a lot of you, this is an extension that can be added into your uh, G Suite. A lot of you probably don't have it there already, so you will have to install it. So we're gonna take you through the install first and then give you a little bit of an idea in terms of what you're gonna be doing within it. So easiest way to do it, you can just go do a Google search, put in coding with Chrome. We're gonna click on that. It's gonna bring us right to our extension here covering up my little uh, button. Now I've already installed it, but you would see in this case, a uh, the blue button would basically say install. And so you're gonna click on it and let it uh, run through. You'll notice it does come out of the Chrome Web Store. So if you go to your nine dots, nine colored dots up in the corner there and click on it, that'll bring you to your Chrome Web Store as well. And you can locate it uh, coding with Chrome. So once we get the app installed, we're going to launch it and it brings us to this. And so our first question that we wanna ask ourselves is where are we at in terms of our levels? So if we're still using what we call visual programming, if you've been working with the Dash robots, you've been working with Minecraft, you've been working with uh, Scratch and those types of things, you're gonna be very familiar with visual programming already and sometimes known as Blockly. And that's really what this beginner code is. And so if that's the level that you're at, you can click on it, and it's gonna bring you to, to some different areas here. Uh, we have tried to do the control robots aspect off of this program. It doesn't seem to like it particularly well. So that's one uh, I wouldn't worry too much about right now. But definitely, if you wanna learn how to use Blockly or after you do your Blockly lesson, you want to actually start creating some games similar to Hour of Code. That's where you're going to go. So again, if we come here, we're going to go to go Blockly. I can create a new world. I can try in a hello world example. I can load some text loop. I can load some sunlight. I would strongly recommend go down to to your tutorials first. If, if you're really at the beginning here and you're not sure what to do, or you get stuck as you work through it, hop down to your tutorials and learn through that. In this particular word example though, we're going to go to Hello World to take a look at an example. And so it's created my screen here. This is where I'm going to be uh, working through, you can see a lot of my commands. So I can, you'll notice in this particular case, I'm going to write, I'm going to put my little text in there. Hello world, I'm Mr. Moore. And you can see that it's already put it into my window here. You'll notice in this particular case that it actually puts it right beside the hello world, I think, if I remember correctly. No, it's not gonna let me do that. You'll notice that some other examples though, as we work through this, uh, I've got my whole lot of different draw commands. This is really fascinating. And one that really gets into uh, our Cartesian planes and working with, uh, uh, graphing and those types of things. We can do lots of things from a geometry standpoint as well uh, in terms of draw, uh, drawing our different shapes. You'll notice we've got our circles, we've got our rectangles. I can work with my lines, my points, even my triangles. I can put my text in there as well and so on. So that gives you some examples. If we jump over to our screen over here, you'll notice that if I wanted to open up a whole new one, 
This is where I'm going to change the view in a new browser window. If I want to go to a full screen, which uh, because we're videotaping this, I don't want to do that right now. Uh, if I want to go back to my original screen, that's where my hand is coming into play. If I get stuck or things freeze, and you will see with there are some bugs in this particular one, it will freeze on you. So uh, you do want to hit your refresh button. And then, of course, once I'm done at the end, if I want to stop, that's my big stop button here at the very end. You'll also notice up at the top, I've got my save button now. This particular program is part of the Google Suite, but I would I would suggest that you do want to save the project. Uh, it does, as I said before, it can be glitchy at times. So uh, when it freezes on you, if you're you don't have to be saving it every 30 seconds or whatever, but definitely if you've been working for uh, five or 10 minutes, I would get in the habit of popping up there and saving the project. And you can see in this particular case, it actually saves it right into my hard drive. It will, if you have a Chromebook, save it into your Chromebook. And what happens is it basically will create a folder in your Google Drive and save it from there. It's just because I'm working on a laptop right now that it's actually putting it right into my hard drive. But that's really what we're looking at here. If you want to undo a change, that's the easiest way to do it from there. And so that gives you a little bit of an idea in terms of what we're dealing with here. And I'm going to exit out of this. One of the things that I don't like about it is it does take me back to this window when I exit. So I have to launch the app again. And so it brings me back here. Again, if we're a little more advanced in terms of where we are with our programming, again, you'll notice that this one is letting me get into JavaScript. It's also letting me get into Python. Uh, as you work through this, um, you can, there is some other aspects with uh, HTML, CSS, and so on. Uh, the programming one over here, this is the one where uh, you would be looking at building your software probably uh, through JavaScript. They do have others in here, Python, of course. Your coffee script, your pencil code are the four main ones that they're using here. Uh, again, if you are interested in learning about the Python language, though, I would strongly recommend go to the Codesters program, not this particular one. I found this one uh, not to be quite as user friendly, a little bit more difficult to figure out in terms of what you were supposed to do and, and how you were doing it. So. I would suggest this one is really after you go through the Codesters program, if you're wanting to get into this. Uh, otherwise, the Blockly section that you have that we just looked at, fabulous, and it will work very well. Of course, you also have Scratch that you can also go to that uh, does much the same type of thing, uh, which is an online account that any, any Chromebook would be able to use. So hope that helps. and. Uh, Keep coding and uh, we'll see. And if you want to share with me what you've got created, especially if you've got it in the Google Drive, feel free to do so. Thank you. Bye.